Hello everybody, it is Monday the 5th of September. I finished work. Starting the weekly vlog a bit late today because uh, I forgot to try to put the files onto the computer for the last week's, which I'm now editing. Jennifer's here. She's been down, the, I think she's getting tired now because she's been down the park with Daddy this morning playing football and scooting, haven't you? You had fun with her friends. Yeah, she's tired. So tomorrow we get to go to the school to see your teacher, don't we? Yeah. And your classroom. I'm going to miss you. We're only going for 10 minutes tomorrow, Jen. We won't be leaving you tomorrow. It's Wednesday, you'll be going for a bit longer, all right? And then it's only to like 20 past 11, or 20 to 11, or something like that. It's ridiculous. But yeah, so I have got my book here, so I might have a read of that in a minute. Jennifer's tired, cuddling. There we are. <laughs> Sleepy girl. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just gonna see what happens Saturday. Not a lot, probably, be quiet. It's Monday night and everybody's going to bed. Jennifer's in bed, because we're meeting her teacher tomorrow. Um, I'm actually gonna read for a little bit before I go to sleep. I finished reading Joyland by Stephen King. I really, really enjoyed this one. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, I like that one. And I'm now reading that's my notebook, my reading journal. Uh, Jack the Ripper, Quest for a Killer. All right, Paul. By um, J. Trow. So enjoying that one at the moment. Well, enjoying it as much as you can enjoy a book on Jack the Ripper. I've only just started it, so I'm going to read for a little bit. See how we get on. So tomorrow, Jennifer's off. So am I, I don't have to get up for work, yay! Because we don't have to go down to like, I think it's about ten past or quarter past ten. Take her to see the uh, teacher in her new classroom, very exciting. Pop Tesco, buy her a few bits that she needs. And come home. I'll see you in the morning, I'll let you know how it's going. So it's Tuesday, we've been to the school, met your teacher, haven't we? What do you think of her? Yeah. Very nice. We went to Tesco to get some bits and pieces and she got a Ryan's World figure. Why are you in from Tesco, Mom? Yeah. So on Saturday she got this one. She got sort of like a, it's aeronaut but he's like a steampunk Ryan. And today we got Sheldon the Blue Dragon with a sword. And this is from... Yeah, that's from the other one. So yeah, and I got Relax With Art's new uh, holiday special. Toys from Target. Yeah, but we don't have Targets in the UK, Jen. We got ours in Tesco, yeah. didn't we? And they realised we're gonna put them on your shelf in your room. Yeah. Yes, we are. And we so we're gonna go and do them. some stuff now. Can... It's Wednesday, isn't it, Jen? You ready for school? Put your uniform on. You look very smart. I'm gonna take some pictures of you in a minute, okay? You excited? She is really. A bit tired. I'll take some pictures of you then. Hello everybody, it's Wednesday afternoon. We've taken the cat to the vet. There she is. Oh, we need to get her weighed so we can give her some uh, flea and worm treatment. <sighs> Jennifer's down at Tans and I've just done my hula hoop workout. So this is my hoop. This is what they call a smart hoop. It's got a weight on it and it sits either around your waist or on your hips and you spin it all round. And you're supposed to keep it going for as long as you can. So the recommended workout is uh, 30 minutes every day. I can't do 30 minutes. As you can see, it's absolutely pouring off of me. I've done about 20 minutes and I can't keep it going for 20 minutes continuously. Now, last week I could barely even keep it going for 10 times. Now I've, I've I've sorted it. I've, I've found the, the issue and the issue was I needed a couple of extra links because there are various places you can wear it on your body um, for it to work. Some people have it on their waist and it's fine. I couldn't get it to do it on my waist so I put two extra links on it and I've put it on my hips and, it's, and I can do it. I can do it much better. So a bit more practice, get a bit fitter and I know I'll be able to keep it going for 30 minutes. So I'm going to be doing this every day. I might film myself if I can find my um, uh, tripod, the one that goes with my uh, camera, I can't think it goes with my gorilla pod, that's it. Oh, I am sweating. It is a good workout. I'm going to have a, a tea and then I'm going to have a shower after, I'm going to get changed in a minute. I need something cleaner, we should be going straight in the wash along with this later, but uh, oh. I feel quite chuffed that I've now figured it out that I need to wear it on my hips. 
I need to actually have it on my hips for it to spin properly. And some people can do it on their waists, but not for me. And it does depend on the person being quite curvy as well. It probably was catching on my belly and stuff like that. Whereas I wear it on my hips, it's actually across my belly a bit and that's fine. Now I was only able to do that because the company sent me another hoop. I did ask them for full links, but they sent me a whole new hoop. So I'm very lucky in the sense that I've got a spare one of these weights. So, and one of the things that goes sometimes is the, 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 the rollers. So I'm really happy I have now figured it out. I'm so chuffed, 20 minutes tonight. Very pleased with that. Still not continuous, but I'm getting there. Ooh. Okay guys, I'm in bed, I've had a shower, I've dried my hair and I am now going to sit and read for a bit before I go to sleep. I was going to watch Dark Martin because the new series on tonight but I'll watch it on Catch Up All Night if you have tomorrow or Wednesday or the weekend, something like that. I'm so sorry now, I'm aching from the hooping but I feel good, I'm going to be doing that again tomorrow when I get home. I really hope that I can, you know, get into shape a bit, get a bit fitter, lose a bit of weight, um, just lose some fat, you know. I mean, obviously, the places I want to lose it, it's going to go from last, which is my boobs, my belly and my bum. Uh, but at least it's exercise, it's going to help me get fitter. I mean, I really felt like I worked out and I only did 20 minutes, so tomorrow I should try and do 25. Hmm. So, we also bought this thing called Pet Remedy um, for Zed, because she does keep attacking Jen. And apparently it's got valerian in it, uh, amongst other things, essential oils. And it, it calms down stressed animals, so it could be that she's feeling stressed. And, because Jennifer's got a high-pitched voice, and she's quite loud, um, and she moves very suddenly, it freaks the cat out, and I think that's probably why she does it she probably thinks Jennifer's going to attack her so she attacks her first so and it does seem to have worked we, we put it on straight away as a diffuser and we put it on and within f a few minutes Dad was just lying chilled out on the floor quite happily you know she still does her pet aggression if you you know you pet her for too long she will bite your hands but fingers crossed so far so good since we plugged that in she hasn't uh, done anything she shouldn't so got to fingers crossed so I'm going to try and read a bit more of MJ Trow's Quest for a Killer because I really want to get on to a my classic, which is Treasure Island. It would be this book, House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clune, who wrote The Light and Struck Heart that I have already, I read and loved it. Now my friend Julie, who recommended The Light and Struck Heart, read it and she said she sobbed. She said she really cried and I'll love it. So I know I will. So I am going to crack on for you to do some reading and I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, so it is September the 8th and I forgot to vlog this morning. Um, obviously, you've probably, you will have all heard by the time this goes up that the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II died today. Now, I don't know why I'm getting so upset because I didn't know her and never met her. I do think the royals are good for the country. I think they bring a lot of tourism in. Um, I guess she's like everybody's growling. She's been there my entire life. If I feel like this, at the event of her passing, what am I going to be like? What my mum and dad pass? That's all I can say. So I will be vlogging. I'm going to try and vlog the rest of the week, but there won't be much. Um, I was so out of it today that this afternoon, once I saw the news, that they were concerned for her. I knew as soon as they said that they were concerned for her, her doctors were whether she was rescued. I knew she'd gone. You just know when all the news reporters are wearing black and the family are rushing to her side that um, there's only going to be one outcome. So when it came across, I wasn't surprised. But it did make me feel very sad. She was everybody's granny. Uh, so we will continue the vlog for the rest of the week. I didn't hoop today. Um, like I said, I always didn't feel like it after the news and watching the, the reports. And uh, uh, it was so that we had takeaways tonight. Me and Paul had a Chinese and Jennifer had a McDonald's. Um, didn't hoop. Didn't feel like it after that. I just. 
she's been a part of your life for so long, even though she's not a part of your family. She feels like it, you know, because I, I remember the Queen's Silver Jubilee in 1977, and I was only three, but I can remember it. Bits of it, I can remember bits of it. I was dressed up as Little Miss Muffet, and my brother Richard was a pirate. And we had a street party in Yate, Bristol, where I lived at the time. Um, so, yeah, very, feeling very, very, very sad today. Very, my thoughts are with a family. I've just seen a photograph of, of, of King Charles, as he is now, if he keeps that name. And uh, the grief on his face. I oh, love him. Love him or hate him because of everything that happened with Diana. You've got to remember, it was 25 years ago that she passed uh, in circumstances still considered suspicious. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't get into conspiracy theories, as you know. I love reading about them, but I don't discuss them, other than ones I know a lot about, such as Marilyn. But he is king. And we have to move forward with him being the king. And he will do his best. He's 73. He will probably never make his Silver Jubilee, which is 25 years. Because he would be 98. Which is older than his mother was as she passed, 96. So it's going to be very sad. We go into the country, goes into 12 days of mourning now. Um, life goes on for the rest of us but for his family for her family it's very sad and my heart is with them today this evening as they come to terms with her passing and uh, it's just so she was a good age I mean you can't say she wasn't. She didn't have a, a good long life, and she was a good age. Cause she was. She was ninety six, and I hope I get to that age. And she was working up until two days ago, meeting the new prime minister and everything, looking frail. We were concerned when we saw her then. But all I can say is, thank you for your service, ma'am. Rest in peace. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it is now Friday the 9th of September, um, obviously the news is still full of the death of Queen Elizabeth II, I feel so sorry for her son Charles, who is now King Charles III, um, simply because he is not only grieving his mother, um, but he also has to come back to London and address the nation in his hour, his worst hours of grief. So my heart goes out to him. I'm still very emotional. But I have to work because I need to earn money. And um, I'll see you afterwards. Saturday afternoon, like I said, there's not a lot going on vlogging wise this week. Can't be bothered. And we're in the pub having a pint. Paul's ankle's hurting. It's when he broke when he fell down the stairs. He's in agony. Um, but we had to get out. Jennifer's doing something with some pezzes. What are you watching my phone? Uh, it's supposed to be Daddy's. But you said you didn't like Daddy's phone. You wanted Mummy's phone. I said Daddy's. Kids. Cheeky woman. <sighs> One thing I like about this pub is the view. Look at there, you've got a beautiful view out the windows of the valleys. Danny Grigg Cemetery is over there as well, which is otherwise known as Risky New. The old ones, um, closed for years. And I'm sitting here thinking I want to be out taking photos. Oh well. Instead, I'm sitting in the pub with her and in. Might go to Cate's Cemetery soon. That's a bloody good cemetery. Nice one. Lots of great monuments in there. Okay, Sunday night and uh, yeah. Mm. Jennifer's been to football today, haven't you? Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. She ran around. I got Marshall teacher. She's got Marshall from Paw Patrol on her uh, 
pajamas. She fell over at football, didn't you? I cried. She cried. But then she woke up and carried on playing, didn't you? Yes. Anyway, that's it for this week. Like I said, it wasn't a very long one. Hey, uh, fine! Shh! Because everything's gone on. Um, but we'll see how it goes next week. She's in school next week till mm -hmm. 10 past 3 every day. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to it? <laughs> yeah, she loves school. You're a good girl, aren't you? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow when we do it all again.